the picture, Michelle. Happy <laughs> Sunday to you. Happy Sunday. Have a good weekend. Yes. That's right. Strike a pose. We are <laughs> celebrating with Shauna Schatz and a beautiful uh, Southern California photo here. We're going to back, but on the top, nice. it makes for a beautiful background. Check it out. This was sent in by our friend Lisa Bronnett out in Marina Del Rey. Sunset was nice because we had a few clouds strewn in from the rain layer. And for this morning, it is going to look great, but I can tell you, we're going to take that because it is nice and cool, and we're looking forward to breaking the heat. Here's the temperature to look at San Monica. The beach is where you're headed today. Remember, we still have high surf there, and we have recurrent risks. So stay out of the water if you can. We're still going to have some marine layer here through about 12. And then some peaks of the sun as we head to the afternoon, keeping temperatures at about 70 by 2 o'clock, 3 at the beach. 67 degrees this afternoon and evening for dinner time, so it is going to be a little breezy as we have a uh, onshore breeze here. And that is going to cause, again, a um, wind advisory for the desert. So if you head inland, that's where we're going to find warmer temperatures. Not as hot as yesterday, so we're going to take temperatures down 5 to 10 degrees, even more than we saw yesterday. Um, the winds are still a little gusty through those mountain passes and canyons, as well as those desert locations. So Lancaster, you're also a part of this advisory. We'll see that here through tonight. And then, here's a look at what's going to happen. I do want to show you that we've got those dusty conditions as we head to this evening. So, the strongest winds of the desert will move through here around Sunday, 6 p.m., as we can see here on the future cast. Back tonight at 6. We'll see again dusty conditions for you in Palmdale and Victorville coming out of the west. But then that wind direction changes. I'm going to fast forward to tomorrow. You can see that wind arrow comes straight out of the northeast. And what is that? Well, that's an offshore wind, which pushes the clouds out of the way, allows dry air to return, and then we heat up again. So here's a look at that temperature change and the roller coaster ride of temperatures we've been seeing here this week. We are on the downhill part. So again, I like today. It's nice and comfortable, but then we heat it up again tomorrow. Riverside back to the upper 80s tomorrow. 90s Tuesday, Wednesday, I think the Mayo coming. Very warm there. And then we cool it down the rest of the week, but only slightly to the upper 60s um, overnight. And then we've got 80s in the daytime. So step by the way to show you, we've got your 70 forecast coming with dry weather this week. No one will need it, but we will need that water again. We will need the sunscreen shorts and flip-flops. It's going to be a warm one. 70 today, though. Enjoy the cool weather. Today is the coolest day of the week, as you can see here on the maps of the beaches. 66 degrees. we we'll warm it up to the 70s there. 80s for you in the valleys and inland. And are we going to hit the 90s? Yep, we're going to see that again in the 90s by the time we hit Wednesday. So get ready for more heat, folks. High desert. We'll also see hot temperatures by Wednesday. 100 by Tuesday in the low desert. And the mountains also looking very warm for this time of year. We'll be in the 60s today, but warm it to the 70s as we head to Wednesday. Okay, folks, so another uh, look at forecast coming right up. We'll come right back to the show. Thank you, Shauna. Well, how about this? The run for the roses was a run for the record books for San Anita based trainer Bob Baffert. <laughs> They call it the most exciting two minutes in sports. Medina Spirit, written by John Velasquez, held on Mandaluga, and a hot rock Charlie to win it. It's Velasquez's fourth Derby win, and there's Baffert and Velasquez. They won the 2020 Derby with Authentic. That race took place last September, if you recall, because it was pushed back due to COVID. Congratulations. Another beloved actress has left us coming up a look at the life of Oscar-winning star Olympia Dukakis.